What's going on church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So the other day, the Heavenly Father blessed me with a word in Haggai. And you know how you could just be flipping through the pages and then you randomly stop at a page and you start reading? Well, that's what happened. And I realized it wasn't random because in that chapter, it was talking about how a lot of people build themselves up. They build their own houses up before they build the kingdom of God up. And what I learned in that chapter is a lot of times the Heavenly Father be blessing us through the process, but we can get to a place of not really being grateful for what we already have. So in Haggai 1, verse 6 through 7, it say, Ye have so much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earn wages, earn wages to put it into a bag with holes. Thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. See, a lot of times we be asking for a blessing before we consider our ways. You know, it might be stuff that we're holding on to that's blocking our blessings. Or it might be stuff that's separating us from the kingdom of God. Or we might just have a carnal mindset on the stuff that we have. When really the Heavenly Father is blessing you so you can be a blessing to others, so you can build the kingdom of God, so you can bring people back to Lord Jesus Christ. See, the other day I was thinking about my life because I was just feeling like I wasn't where I was supposed to be. And I was just getting into my feelings. And then I just heard the Heavenly Father speak to me and said, you have a good life. You have a good life. Now, at first I didn't understand because... I'm going through certain stuff in my life at the moment. But then the Heavenly Father corrected me and he said, you have a roof over your head and a place to sleep. But there is someone out there tonight that's got to sleep on concrete. And that was me at one point in time. Because me and my family, we was homeless. You have food in the refrigerator, even if it's just mac and cheese. But there is somebody that's going to sleep tonight hungry you have clothes to put on and a warm place to stay but there is somebody out there that don't have no food that don't have anything to drink that got holes in their clothes so the heavenly father said consider your ways because i have provided for you you might not be in the place that you want to be, but sometimes the Heavenly Father will make our lives hard in order to draw us closer to Him. Because sometimes we can look over the small stuff that the Heavenly Father has done. See, when you live a life of gratitude, that's what opens up the hands of God. But if you got your hands closed, the Heavenly Father is going to have His hands closed too. So I might not be exactly where I want to be at in life right now, but at least I can be grateful for what the Heavenly Father has already done for me and my family. And I'm grateful that the Heavenly Father can use me to spread the word that can encourage people that might be feeling down in their soul. See, if you're able to watch this video, that means the Heavenly Father got you through the hard part. And that's just waking up in the morning. See, the Heavenly Father taught me a valuable lesson about complaining. Don't do it. Because it could have been much worse due to sin and other stuff that we may have done in our past. Yet the Heavenly Father still continued to do stuff for us even though we wasn't living for Him. We was living for ourselves. We was living for ourselves. Instead of building the kingdom of God, we try to build our own kingdom with our own ambition, with our own will. See, the enemy primary goal is to bait you out of the presence of God with this stuff of the world. He wants you to live a flashy lifestyle so you can try to look a certain way in front of certain people. See, we got to put away the old way. We got to put away the carnal way of thinking so we can look the part in front of God. See, the reason why certain stuff don't work out in our lives is because the Heavenly Father didn't breathe upon it, meaning he didn't give it life. Because we allow our own ambition to bring us out of the presence of God. See, if God give the wrong thing life in our lives, it can destroy us. 
Sometimes our will or our ambition is what get us in trouble because we start chasing after the stuff of this world. And the further we chase, the more distance we put between our relationship with the Heavenly Father. And it brings us down, it brings us to a place of lack, it brings us to a dark place in our lives. But the Heavenly Father don't want that for you. He wants to restore the relationship between you and Him through Lord Jesus Christ. So we must step into the marvelous light of Lord Jesus in order to be restored, replenished, reproved. God want to correct our ways. But if we don't consider our ways, how will we ever learn that we're doing something wrong? Or how can we ever step into the promises of God? Because God not going to bring life into a situation that's far from life. Meaning, if you're not connected to the vine, Lord Jesus Christ, how can you have life in you? That's why sometimes we got to reflect. We got to reflect on our actions in order to improve as a person. We got to develop a Christ-like mindset. That's how you start building that fortress so the devil can't plant intrusive thoughts in your mind. So I want to end with this. If you truly want the Heavenly Father to bless your life, consider your ways. Because the Heavenly Father said, he will forgive us for our sins. He will cast them out. He will clean us. And we got to go through chastisement in order to develop that wisdom. Because God wants to show you the error of your ways. And when you learn from your mistakes, that's how you develop godly wisdom. And that's how you will have more clarity on this walk with Christ. We got to let the former things go. That's including friends certain family members. Sometimes we got to let jobs go. Sometimes we just got to let go of everything. We got to go through a breaking process in order for the Heavenly Father to multiply His presence in your life. See, when God is in your life, what used to be impossible becomes possible. You thought you couldn't get rid of that sin. But God said you can as long as you remain in His presence. The doctor said you couldn't be healed, but God said you can as long as you remain in his presence. The judge wanted to throw away the key and lock you in prison forever, but God said you could be free as long as you call upon the name of Lord Jesus. Everything that man tried to do against you, God said it can be reversed as long as you remain in his presence. So if you truly want to be blessed by God, build his kingdom. Lead people back to Lord Jesus Christ so people can be saved, so people can be delivered from their old life, so they may step into the newness of life and be made free. We all have access to this freedom and it's through Christ. But it's up to us to choose because you can either choose the world or you can choose God. I'd rather choose God because I know how it's like when you live in the world. The world going to bring you to a place of lack. The world going to bring you to a place of depression. The world going to give you anxiety. The world is going to turn against you the more you start to radiate the light of Lord Jesus Christ. So that's why I'm going to choose God, by having faith in Lord Jesus Christ. I'm made righteous through Christ. I'm saved by grace through Christ. None of the work that we do would be in vain because of Lord Jesus Christ. So consider your ways. We got to consider our ways in order to make better decisions. And you come to a place of true repentance so you can truly live for the most high God. I learned that when you keep God first, that's how you consider your ways because God wants to turn your life around. But we have allowed all these distractions in this world to pull us away from God more and more over time. It's time to put an end to all this dead end stuff so we can truly walk that narrow way that leads to life. Consider your ways. I pray this word bless you in Jesus name. Amen. I love y'all.